What's up guys, David here, and as many of you know, the OnePlus 3 has been my daily driver for the last few months now. So when Evolutive Labs, the company behind the Rhino Shield crash guard, wanted to team up with us and do a drop test, I figured it'd be interesting to see how well their Rhino Shield crash guard protects the OnePlus 3. I mean, they've got cases for the iPhone 7 and the Galaxy S7, which I'll be putting the links you need down below in the description. But since the OnePlus 3 is the phone I've been personally using, that's the case we're gonna be testing here today. So the case itself is a bumper case, meaning it isn't one of those heavy duty bulky cases that barely fit in your pocket and end up hiding the design of your phone, but despite it not looking like a heavy duty case, it does offer heavy duty protection with what is called shock spread technology, which basically is like having millions of little micro airbags that help deflect and absorb that impact energy when you drop your phone which in theory allows your phone to survive drops of at least 11 feet. Now they're saying at least 11 feet, not up to, but at least, which is a really big claim. So doing what we do and doing the extreme drop test that you guys have seen before, we're gonna test it. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna put, do it with my own phone. I'm probably gonna switch phones anyway, so I'm not like too scared, but let's get right into it. All right, so the first drop we're gonna do is probably the most common and that's the pocket drop, right? You're pulling your phone out of your pocket and you're clumsy and it falls. So let's see how it does. And I just kind of launched it out, which you probably wouldn't do, but as you can see, phone looks perfect, working perfectly. Look at the back, got a few scuff marks on the case itself, but who cares about that, right? The phone still works, vibrate function still works. So let's go to the next drop. All right, so drop number two is let's say you want to <laughs> All right, so the second most common drop probably is, let's say you're texting someone and you know, you're just minding your business and someone kind of bumps into you and you're like, oh shoot. It landed right on the corner. So that was actually a hard drop, but the phone still works. There you go. You can see fully functional, no damage to the phone itself. Got another scuff mark right there on the corner, but phone is in perfect condition. Fiber switch still working, so wait, let's see. Oh yeah, there you go. Still working, so we are good. So let's go to the next drop. All right, so we can do these common everyday drops all day long, but the reality is this case is rated to survive drops of at least 11 feet. So we're gonna take things to the next level and drop it from the next level. So let's do that. All right, guys, we, are going up the stairs. And I'm nervous for this guy. This is my daily driver. I actually formed a bond with it. No, not really, but it's a damn good phone. And I'm putting a lot of faith in this case <laughs> up from here. So, all right, I think that's a good enough position. All right, so drop test from really high up. I, I would not want to drop from here myself because I think I might I might break a leg, I don't know, maybe. All right, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, that was nasty. All right, let's see what happened. And actually I could already see that the phone is still working, nice. All right, so uh, phone still working. Take a look at it. You know what, the phone still looks like it's in perfect condition. In fact, the case didn't even get that scuffed. Okay, so I guess it was right there that it hit. Didn't he actually get that scuffed up? So pretty impressive results, which means we're gonna do what I'm afraid to do and take it to the next level again. Well, we're going up once again and this time, I don't know if it's gonna make it. I mean, it was rated at what, 11 feet? That was over 11 feet, but this one, we're pushing things to the limit here. You want, you want to take a look down? Look at that. That is high up. We are high up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bet, yes, no? I don't think so. I don't know. This is, and we've already done a bunch of drops already, so it's weaker internally. Three, two, 
One. Oh my lord. Oh. Let's see what happened. I don't know. I don't know if we made it. I don't know if we made it. I really don't. That was, I, no, there's no way. <clears throat> and no freaking way. It survived. And it's still working. Fully functional. Holy crap. Wow. So. I mean, I don't, okay, so maybe it hit right there, I'm guessing, but <laughs> the phone works. Let's see the, the slider function works. Yep, slider function is still working. Oh my gosh. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's take it to the third level. My gosh. All right, so it survived the pocket drop, the you know chest drop. The first story, the second story. In fact, I'm walking up the stairs right now. We're just past the first story. And uh, I'm on the second story? Yeah, I'm on the, no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna survive the second one. So if it survives this one, I mean, I'm already surprised that it survived the second, but this, this would just be, it'd be outrageous. Woo, all right. Phone's still working. I don't even know how high this is, but damn, it's freaking high. You ready? All right, three, two, one. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. Did you hear that sound? There's, there's just no way. Well, if anything, this phone has gotten me a workout, making me go up more stairs than I do. All right. Whew. All right. I mean, you guys heard that sound. There's, there's just no way this thing survived. But, oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> Wait. Oh yeah. Okay. The phone, the phone's dead. Holy crap. Wow. Well, there you go. Actually, look, the, the screen part of it actually is showing up and working on the corner. <laughs> that's a tough phone, and damn it, that's a tough case. That is, that is really high up. So, moral of the story is, <laughs> you drop your phone from regular situations, you're gonna be good. You go a little bit extreme, and maybe somebody's mad at you and throws it off of a, I don't know, off your balcony, you're good. You live on the second or third floor, you're probably still good. It's just, when you get all the way up there, they have an issue. So, with that said, damn, I'm impressed. <laughs> I mean, this is not a heavy duty, bulky case. It's something that actually still shows off the design of the phone. You know, the phone is still fully visible. And I actually really like the OnePlus 3's design. And uh, it does a decent job at protecting it. I mean, a really good job. Are you ever gonna drop your phone from that high? No, I hope not. And if, it, if you do, you deserve this result. <laughs> but even in the more likely extreme scenarios, you're gonna be fine. So. With that said, that is it for me in this video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Big shout out to Evolutive Labs for sponsoring today's video. And uh, as always, I'll see you in the very next episode. Peace.